For Anna, huh? you only care for fun, games, and Anna loses dream. Huh? Ever since you start cavorting with Anna, Anna's dancing suffers. But she's been practicing so hard. If you keep taking her away from practice, she will not stand chance in showcase. No way. But this film role means everything to her. Why not give her day off? Showcase is day after tomorrow. Tomorrow, I take whole day off to coach Anna. Class canceled for you and everyone else. Maybe she have chance to catch up if I help her. Well, I promised we'd go sailing, but... You do Anna favor. Don't distract her tomorrow. I explain everything to her, and you see her next day at Showcase. For Anna, I'll do it. Wise choice. moves? No, Sasha. I just thought we could dance together before class. You know, like we did before. Oh, well, sorry. I'm just really trying to concentrate, you know? Sure. Sasha. Good to see so much dedication. Good work, Sasha. But you have come a long way. Great potential. Anna, I have put aside afternoon just for you. A special practice session. Thank you, Madame Demidov, but I already promised my friend Dylan I'd go sailing. I don't think so. Saw him hiking with different girls. Uh, Dylan wouldn't do that. I know this Dylan type. He's seen before. Oh, boys, not to trust. He doesn't even show up for class. Anna, are you ready to get back to work? Yes, madame. You have come a long way. Great potential. Could be great dancer. Really? Thanks. Finally, grateful pupil. The kind I want to perform my piece in showcase. Anna's going to do a great job with your number. Anna won't dance. She has her own choreography she wants to use, not mine. Very disappointing for me. Oh, well. <gasps> Maybe you do. Madame, a great favor. You perform for me instead, since Anna will not. 
I perform your choreography? That would be awesome! Uh, I mean, if Anna's not using it... I help you. Let's start with first sequence. Continue practice. I come back. Madame, you were right about Dylan. You maybe think Madame is silly old woman, but Madame smarter than you think. Now, excuse me. I am very busy rehearsing my showcase piece. But how can you be rehearsing it without me? Oh, I have no dancer performing piece now. But I've been practicing that routine for weeks, and the showcase is tomorrow. You lack talent and passion I expect in student. I gave up everything, everything for dance. But that's not my fault. Luckily, just in time, Sasha will perform my dance. She has focused on being best, unlike you. I don't believe you. Sasha would never take my routine. She's my friend. It is not your choreography. Mine, see for yourself. Goodbye, Anna. Maybe work on your tan instead of dancing. Come, gentle knight. Come, loving black-browed knight. Give me my Romeo. <gasps> oh my gosh, I got it. La. I did it. I finished it! I nailed it! Who will walk the red carpet? Who'll be the star with her name in lights? Academy Award for Best Actress I think it's me, that's right I think it's me! Who'll be the hottest new designer? In every fashion magazine Whose styles will set all the new trends On the stage and silver screen Who's gonna choreograph the hottest videos The world has ever seen I think it's me Who's gonna have a gold record Get our songs on the radio Have a million of fans want an autograph Every night a sold out show It's all about me and what I can do It's gonna be me The director will choose Would you like two fine gentlemen to escort you to dinner? Uh, sure. But I need to look over my monologue, so don't talk to me. Uh-oh. It's my <laughs> competition. What's wrong? Are we going to dinner or not? Uh, I'm so nervous. I don't think I can eat. 
know what? I forgot my music back at the cabin. I need to, um, check the laundry to see if my performance tights are dry. I need to change my shoes. Hold up. What? What has happened to you? I think we've lost our girls to the limelight. You used to be inseparable. You used to be BFFs, remember? Yeah, I'm bummed your band isn't gonna play today. Are you serious? The chance to star in David Charles's film? Fame and fortune, a whole movie about me? Or me, or me. Well, I don't like it. What happened to our kicking it summer at camp? All you guys do anymore is practice. Madame LaTightburn spent all of yesterday coaching Anna. No, she didn't. She spent the afternoon coaching me. What? That's not true. How would you know? You weren't at class. Because Madame LaTightburn told me classes were canceled so she could spend the day with Anna. Anna isn't even using Madame's choreography. She snubbed her own teacher. Who told you that? Madame. Something smells. Well, I saw Anna crying yesterday. Did you talk to her? Well... Dylan, wait! Anna, are you in there? Why are you talking to a door, weirdo? I'm waiting for Anna to come out. Like, Anna left, hello? Left for where? When? A little while ago. Said she was catching the next bus home. No! Why would she do that? Uh, something about everyone turning their backs on her. You, Madame Damidov. Oh, yeah, and don't forget Sasha totally stealing her routine for the showcase. <laughs> that too, meow. Oh, no. Come back! We're Anna, sorry. stop! Anna, wait! Hey, stop! Oh, no. Now Anna's going to think I'm a total backstabber. It's not your fault, Sasha. Madame Damidov lied to you, Anna, and Dylan. Anna's going to think I'm the worst friend in the world. Well, aren't you? You told her how important it was to have fun and enjoy camp. Then you totally changed. Now you're only out for yourselves. And I've lost the only girl I've ever loved. No, you haven't. It's the next bus. Anna! Anna! We thought you left! Yes, goodness! Madame Le Tight Bun lied and told me you refused to do her choreography. And she told me to give you a day off to rehearse. I know, I heard. I don't know why she did it. Maybe she wanted an excuse to use Sasha instead. But that's crazy! You're the best! Oh my gosh! That must be David Charles! Guys, the showcase starts in five minutes. We'll never make it. You can't leave now. You've got to come back and perform the piece. But I can't. It's her choreography and she won't let me use it. But you guys have to compete. I'll come back with you. At least I can see my friends shine. Give me that. Now who's gonna put us in the movie? <sighs> I guess we'll just have to enter ourselves. Doing what? I know. Remember our third grade talent show? Yes, he needs a large, low-fat soy mochaccino pronto. I thought this would be so exciting. So how come I feel so awful? It's just butterflies. Yeah, stage fright. Hello. Yo, all right. Move it. Work it out. Good. Change it up. And here we go. Ready, change. Incredible. True talent. I must work with them.
Thank you. <laughs> a glowing performance. Oh, so inspired. Now, next on the program, we have Madame Damie Dove's much anticipated dance number performed by Sasha. Um, Sasha? What's wrong? I can't do this. What do you mean? You'll do great. I know, but it's not right. Anna's the best. She deserves to win. You're right. My heart's not in this anymore. What happened to us? Dylan was so right. We turned into monsters. I can't believe we let this stupid competition tear us apart. I don't care about winning at all. What would be fun about it without friends to share it with? Sasha, you're on, dear. Time to shine. No, Miss Higgins. I'm sorry, I can't go on. Me neither. Me neither. Cancel me out too. Well, I never. It, it seems Madame Damidov's choreography will not be performed tonight after all. What? This is an outrage! What's going on? Why aren't you performing? We all realize there is something that all of us are much better at. And with that final act... Oh, uh, I see. Well, very unusual. All, all right. Um, I've just been informed that we have a last-minute surprise entrant in tonight's showcase competition. Aristotle once wrote, Without friendship, man would not choose to live, even though he had all other things. Sometimes when we pursue an individual goal, we lose sight of the things that really matter. Things like friendship. What is the point of being a shining star if you have no one to enjoy your light? And so, I am proud to present my friend, Anna.
been the best summer of my life, and it's all because of you guys. And you, Dylan, of course. We're totally gonna keep in touch. You have to come visit us in Stylesville, Anna. I'm planning on it. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, uh, line! And cut. Okay, let's take it again. Water lady, my stars look thirsty. Oh, ungrateful little, I should be star. This is travesty. <laughs> Excuse you? Hey! Hey, PA! We need new plates. Chop, chop! So, after all that work and practice, we discovered that we are really good at a lot of different things. But what we're best at is being best friends. By helping Anna win the contest, we all ended up winners and we felt like stars. <gasps> it's all over, I give up. Why even bother? Come on, Bunny Boo, it's just a paper. Yeah, and school's about to start. <sighs> even I don't get that wrapped up in homework. Fine, I'll print it. I'll get an A, then I'll throw it in the recycling bin. It'll get turned into paper towels and be forgotten forever. Just like everything else I do. What has gotten into you? Uh, I see. Great women in history. Yes, great women. Joan of Arc saved her country when she was 17. At 19, Josephine Baker was the most popular singer in Europe. Madame Curie discovered radiation. All those people made a difference, and history remembers them long after they're gone. How's history going to remember me? Give yourself time, Bunny Boo. I'm sure something will come along. Crimpit, Vanders Andy, I suppose you're wondering why I've asked you here. I'm fired, again. Even better! New coffee for the teacher's lounge. Last one with a mug is a rotten educator! Dibs on the non-dairy creamer! Not if I get there first. What in the name of disruptive schoolyard behavior is that? What could it be? A homecoming float? Well, it couldn't be a UFO. I'm a science teacher, in according to science. People of Earth. Never mind. We have conducted our experiments and returned to you these hilarious creatures. Cows? What would they want with cows? We have been gathering data on our planet for decades as the first step in our plan for galactic domination. Now, on to step two. <laughs> Say cheese. Since when do we have cows at school? <laughs> Maybe they finally switched to real hamburger in the cafeteria. Miss Vanderzandy, I'm sorry we're late. It's all my fault, and... Are you all right? I'm fine. And I won't report your tardiness. Isn't that nice of me? Um, yeah, thanks. I am your friend, Sasha. We all work together. <laughs> uh, so true. What's with Miss Vanders, Andy? I don't know. She's been like this since I got here. Excuse me, Cameron, but you need to see the counselor. But I... It's my fault, Miss Banders, Andy. I'm the one who talked first. Oh, it's not for talking in class. It's just for counseling. Uh, okay. Counselor Crimpet is your friend. Oh, great. We'll, uh, hang out then. Now, 
Let us turn our attention to the stars and the glorious planet Destiny X-35. I thought today we were dissecting frogs. Something's definitely out of whack with our school. There's something strange going on, sir, and we'd like to know what it is. Oh, there's nothing strange here. Nothing at all. Sir? Are you all right? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, <laughs> the back of this desk seems in order. <laughs> oh, and this lamp is in tip. Top shape. Very good. Huh? Oh, that's right. Um, my school is totally under control and... Ah, great Gatsby! Principal Affleck, what's going on? There were cows on campus. The field was all torn up. Miss Vanderzandy was acting really weird. Yes, yes, they've, they've gotten to nearly all of the teachers by now, but remain calm. I've got everything handled. How's this? Can you see me? Principal Affleck, what are you talking about? <sighs> oh, who am I fooling? The district's gonna find out anyway. Truth be told, girls, I've lost control of my own campus. To whom? Don't you see? Aliens have taken over our school! <gasps> there was a sound, like a wooba wooba wooba. I ran out to sea, and there it was, flying away, a spaceship. Then I noticed members of my faculty acting strangely. They, they've been brainwashed, I tell you, brainwashed. They jammed the fax machines, the internet, the phones. Go on, try your cell phones. Well, mine doesn't work, but hey, neither does mine. Guys, I know it's kind of far-fetched, but what if Principal Affleck is right? What if aliens are taking over our school? We could make a run for it. Tell the police. No, no, no. Teachers are patrolling the exits. Then what are we going to do? You could try to get rid of them before the district finds out. Yes, yes. And, and the first of you to do so will get an award. You know, he does sort of have a point. When faced with an obstacle, every great woman finds a way to overcome it. This could be my moment, guys. My chance to seize the day and do something truly worthwhile. And when I'm done, I'll go down in history as the girl who saved the world from aliens. Yes! Let's get back out there. Just remember, if one of them gets you alone, don't look into his eyes! Like, what a lame -o, boring, regular school day. Hello, Kirsty and Casey. I am your friend. We all work together. Sorry, but we don't work at school. Uh, we do enough work at work. I understand, but... Uh, find someone else for your dorky study group. Like, what's with all the glowing green eyes all of a sudden? Oh, must be a craze. Ooh, we'll have to look into that. But first... Time for romance. Time for love. Time for... Encounter. As we know from the commercial, Encounter's perfume is guaranteed to make your guy go gaga for a girly. And there's a special guy this girly wants gaga. <sighs> Dean Densmore. But Dean Densmore is secretly in love with me. Uh, like, ha! Like, uh, ha ha! Uh, like, hee <laughs> ho ho! Will you guys get out of my way? Why, Dean? I'll get out of your way forever. If you know what I mean. Just move it! You gotta see the counselor. Okay, so school is officially crawling with brainwashed students. If you have a plan, Bunny Boo, now would be a good time to let us in on it. Maybe we should have a meeting and figure it out together. No, no, I got it handled. Uh, what we need is allies. We'll raise an army and stand up to the aliens. And there are the perfect soldiers. 
Come on! Cameron! Eaton! Dylan! <gasps> the leader wants us strong. Have you been to see Counselor Crimpet? Like, thanks a lot. You totally ruined my chance. <laughs> he elbowed me. <laughs> well, he shouldered me. Elbowing is way more romantic. Uh, shouldering is so much more romantic. Elbowing? Uh-uh, shouldering. Totally elbowing. No, shouldering. Oh, shouldering. Oh, shouldering. Oh, shouldering. Oh, shouldering. I totally get to elbowing any day of the week. Elbowing. elbowing. Shouldering. I can help you. Look into my eyes. Oh, uh, oh, oh, they are awfully cute. No, don't look. Remember what Principal Affleck said? Don't look into his eyes. Run! We are your friends. We all work together. <gasps> Friends, we all work together. Ah! Uh, like sheesh. I'm a cow. Stand back, alien tweevils. If I have to, I'll kick your booties all the way to the mothership. What's with you? What's with the eyes? Haven't you even noticed that our school's in the midst of a major glowing green eye craze? Luckily, we keep colored contact lenses in our lockers for just such an emergency. Along with leg warmers, yo-yos, and blow-dried disco hair extensions. <gasps> oh, look! Here comes Dean! Oh, Yoo-hoo! Dino! Hello, girls. I am your friend. Ooh! You talk to me! Hey, hot stuff! Did you notice my... eyes? Yeah, what about mine? Aren't they big and green? Yes. Never mind, then. Hello, Sasha. I am your friend. Look into my eyes. Like, uh, what? You leave me no choice, pretty boy, but to unleash my secret weapon. Encounters! Wow, not pretty bad. Nice. So, what do you say to that? Oh, vile stench! It weakens me! I must get away! Ooh, playing hard to get. Finders keepers! You're on! Now they're gonna end up brainwashed. Yeah, I think you need to have a brain to be brainwashed. But did you see how he reacted to that perfume? He said it made him weak. What if, well, what if it's some kind of antidote to the brainwashing? Let's go get the Tweevils. No, but wait, I mean, the Tweevils? I don't want help from the Tweevils. You have some Encounters perfume? Well, no, but... We are your friends. We all work together. We are your friends. We all work together. Look into my eyes. One at a time, please, no pushing. There must have been some kind of chemical in that perfume that affected Dean. So? Look where we are, the science room. What if I could replicate the chemical signature right here? I've got a sample, they sprayed it all over me. It's not gonna be easy, but if you can buy me some time, I think I can pull this off.
But it wasn't easy. This smells exactly like Encounter's perfume. Now, if I only had a test subject. Okay, let her go. Bingo. Faux lilac with a hint of simulated gilded yak lily. It didn't work. Come, Sasha, <gasps> look into my eyes. Become part of the hive. You will mine plutonium, then be sent off to fight in the intergalactic wars. See? I told you. Whoa, guys! Look! They've plowed it! Oh, did you not hear? The field must be ready. For what? For him. People of Earth, have you prepared my field? Yes, great leader. But hey, hey, just a minute. Once again, uh, refresh me. What exactly is your plan? Oh, in the four-chambered stomach of your creature known as Cow. We discovered a high-fiber vegetation rich in cellulose. The miracle vegetation called... Hi. Hey? With the help of this superfood, my species will thrive. We will have the strength of ten aliens. Destiny X-35 will conquer the universe. Our planet's too mildewy. We can't grow it. So you think you can just dance on in here and grow all the hay you want? Is that what you think? Who are you, and why are you not brainwashed? My name is Sasha, and these are my friends, Yasmin, Jade, and Chloe. And we're not about to just stand by and let you- Whatever. Restrain them. <laughs> the rest of you come forth as I give to you the high scene. The seeds for the leader. Sorry, guys. I thought I could stop them. <laughs> like, out of my way, people! This is the lamest pep rally I've ever been to. Where's the football team? Yeah, and what a Dorco homecoming float! Sasha, you're the student body president. Do something! I'll do anything you want. If you give me your perfume. I have one word for you. Like, yeah, right. This is very expensive, you know. Attention drones. Upon planting, all but a select few caretakers will board the spaceship for intergalactic duty. This is our last chance, Kirsty. Please, you've got to give me your perfume. Like, no. And who was that guy? He's an alien? Alien! They're taking over the galaxy unless I stop them. Commence boarding in 60 seconds. Your bottle of perfume, it weakens their power. It's the only thing that can save the galaxy. But, but, it's mine. Come on, Kirsty. the whole world, everything you care about, everything that's real or decent on this earth will be gone. For the sake of your friends, your family, your mom and dad, for humanity. Now's no time to be selfish. 
Oh, give it up, Sasha. You'll never get past all the drones. No, I'm not the one to save us. I should have listened to you guys all along. You two, they think you're brainwashed. Run! Quick! Do it for Dean! Dean? Why? He, like, doesn't even like us. Even with encounters. If you do it, the principal will give you a trophy. A trophy? Hey! Alien! Yes, worker? I hereby christen your UFO, the good ship Loser Mobile. <laughs> no! That's stench! What is it? worth of useless boy bait. Uh, it burns my smell holes! <laughs> this planet's atmosphere is poisonous to me! Retreat! Retreat! Kirsty! Casey! You saved me! Oh, you guys are hot! You know they'll get in the news for this. Maybe even the history books. They'll be bragging about it for a long, long time. Yeah, but you know, that's okay. Let them take the credit. Think of what we did today. We saved the world! That feels pretty good. Maybe it's not all about making history. Maybe it's about making history better. Yay! We got an award! We got an award! <laughs> you brats are like losers! And if we're lucky, the next aliens will eat them. 